The T-38 Talon began its maiden flight as the U.S. Air Force's first supersonic trainer on April 10, 1959, serving an important mission for six decades. The T-38 has consistently performed and has assisted in flight training for 80,000 pilots. With various modernizations, the aircraft has maintained low operating costs, easy maintenance, and has a great safety record. One of the safest supersonic aircraft ever built, the twin-engine, high-altitude jet, can fly at a maximum speed of 858 miles per hour, and can climb to an altitude of 33,600 feet in 60 seconds. Of the 1,187 aircraft produced between 1959 and 1972, half of which are still in use today. The T-38 has been used for over half a century, primarily by the U.S. Air Force, for fighter pilot training. In addition, Air Combat Command uses the jet as a training escort for their B-2, TR-1 and F-22 pilots. The U.S. Navy and NASA also use the T-38 for flight tests and research missions. This aircraft will always be remembered in our Air Force and in our country, as one of the hallmarks that have produced the number one Air Force in the world, said Major General Patrick Doherty, commander of the 19th Air Force of America, in the 60th anniversary of the flight of the T-38. John Parker, Northrop Grumman vice president who attended the event, revealed the contribution of the T-38 program to the aviation industry. Northrop Grumman is proud to be a member of the T-38 sustainability community, Parker said. Over the past few decades, the sustainability community has done a lot of engineering and logistical analysis, fighting obsolete parts, and ensuring that parts are available to maintain flight operations. Two weeks ago, the U.S. Air Force awarded Northrop Grumman a U.S. dollar $22 million contract for the maintenance and engineering of T-38 and F-5 systems. We look forward to continuing system modernization and upgrades for this agile aircraft so that it remains mission-ready in the years to come. <laughs> 